In this video, we're going to have a look at the format function in SQL Server as it relates to dates. So in the previous video, we had a look at five different functions, date name, date part, day, month, and year. And here, for instance, we could get the year by putting it like this. So the year is not as a literal string. So I'm putting year without the quotation marks. Format, however, is different. In format, first of all, the date comes first, not the formatting, and then the formatting in quotation marks. So if I put in, for instance, for lowercase y's, here is our answer, 2007. Now you might recognize this sort of format. We use it in Excel for custom formatting. So two lowercase y's gives me all seven. And one, this might surprise you, it gives me April 2007. Similarly, a single M gives me the 3rd of April. So, a bit surprising results, that one. So, D gives you the day. A single D gives you the short date. Two Ds gives you the day. Three Ds gives you the day of the week, short. And four Ds give you the day of the week, long. But suppose I didn't want this in English. Well, that's actually very easy to fix because there is an optional third argument here. And this allows me to say what culture, what language I want it to be answered in. So for instance, if I said Spanish, ES hyphen ES, then I would get martes. And similarly, if I just said three Ds, I would have MA dot. So very easy to use. You just need to look up whatever culture you want. So for instance, if I wanted the United States, that would be en hyphen us. Now, if I want minutes, well, I can use M's. So here are the number of minutes. And you can see no change regarding how many M's I use. S is for seconds. And fractions of a second, that's F. So here you can see the number of fractions of a second and how many I'm putting to it. So you can't put more than seven. Now you notice we've got some different answers if we have just one letter. And that's because these one letter ones, these are completely different type of formatting. So these use C sharp formatting strings. So we have a D for a short date, a capital D, for a long date pattern, an F for a date and time pattern, either short or long. We have a G for a general pattern. Again, capital G gives you a slightly different answer. The M we've already seen gives you a month day pattern. Y gives you a year pattern and T gives you the short time pattern. So here we can see 12.15 in the afternoon. And again, we can change the locale as well. So if I had a locale of Spain, then 12.15 in the, in the afternoon would just be 12.15. Now, a few oddities here. First of all, let's change this to 23.15. So this is just before midnight, 11 p.m. If I set this to a H, then I will get nothing. If I set it to two H's, then I'll get the answer 11, 11, 15 at night. If I have capital H's on the other hand, I get the 24 hour clock. Now you may notice that M is for minutes. How can I get months then? And that again is a capital. So this is capital M gives me the number of months. And again, I can change the locale, the culture, so that I can get it in a different language. Now you can combine these, of course. So you could have day, month, year. Let's see what happens if I put in lowercase m's here. You can see the computer does not recognize the pattern of day, year, but it goes, ah, these are minutes. 
So you will have to have capital M's whenever you have the month. So there's a lot of detail here and there are three good web pages to go to. The first one is the format page, so format transact SQL. And then in the C sharp literature, the .NET literature, you can have a look at the standard date time formats and the custom date time formats. And there are a lot of examples here. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button and why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.